Peace and love to each and every one of you. Um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, overview of the, uh, well, I mean, I ain't making no money from this, but I just wanted to kind of educate you uh, as far as my knowledge is on alkaline water and uh, water from our sink here. Uh, the first video we filmed uh, didn't work, didn't have my background music in and all that good stuff. So we're just going to kind of, uh, you know, take, up, take off where we uh, left off. So anyway, here I have uh, sink water, okay? And right now I think the alkaline water machine is on. So I'm going to let this just run through this little process here where the water, it actually is cleaning itself right now. So that's good that that happens so you can see that happening. And then what happened, I'm just going to pour this water out so we can retest it. Now this is level 4 alkaline water coming out of the machine. Okay, see it's a little foggy. Um, but what that is, is the actually minerals inside the water. And you'll see that clear up. Uh, here is my refrigerator water, I won't redo that one. Uh, but the sink water, let me turn this off. here and then we're gonna put new sink water in here so you can actually see it live this is straight East Bay mud water right here all right the last time we tested the pH for the sink water it came to 8.38 which is alkaline according to this right here okay anything above seven seven is neutral anything above that is alkaline water anything below seven is acidic water so now we're gonna test where I had this thing on. And this is my combo uh, pH and ORP tester. And uh, pH is potential hydrogen. Uh, ORP is oxidation reduction potential. So let me turn it on. All right. Here we go. So let's go to the sink water first. And right now I'm testing the uh, millivolts. The ORP is actually measured in millivolts and so right now you're getting oxidizing uh, oxidizing test our last one our last test uh, these are the results here uh, let me see if I can focus this a little more okay the last results uh, the pH was 8.38 for the sink water the ORP was plus 208 okay right now as you can see we're at uh, 176, 177, 180 and climbing. So the last test, it got up to 208. So I'm just going to kind of speed through. All right. And this is oxidizing. That's not what we want. We want anti-oxidizing. So here's a refrigerator filter. You know, the uh, pure filters, the Brita filters. Those are the things that they try to sell you. So you basically, these, this is testing the millivolts as well. Uh, as well. And this is... Uh, ORP is tested in millivolts. So you see we're at 191. The last reading we got is at 221. That was our last reading. So this is uh, plus 221, which means oxidizing, which is not really good for the body. From what I understand, a lot of sickness sticks to uh, the oxidizing agents. You know, um, if you're pouring them in your body through your water, um, I wish I had a bottle of Crystal Geyser or some Dasani or something like that. You would probably notice that the plus is just as well as the refrigerator or the sink water so this is at 190 as far as millivolts which is the ORP so I had 221 the last time so we'll just write down where's my pen here we go so I'm just gonna write 190 for this one plus it looked like it went down a bit so now this is the water from the Nexus machine I'm just gonna shake this out and this is the testing from the Nexus machine so as you can see, it's going down as far as my millivolts because right now we're moving to anti-oxidizing. And you can see it here, the number just going down. Okay, now you got anti, which is that minus. So now you're minus 23, 27. Uh, our last testing, it got all the way to minus 200. So I'm not gonna hold it that long or hold you that long. I just wanna kinda get through this test just to test you know, the water and let you know from a molecular uh, at a mo molecular level what kind of water you're drinking and what it what it does to your body and then I'll kind of go through some things with this uh, machine over here which is the uh, Nexus blue uh, you can get this at uh, alkaline water plus 
that's a plug for them. Maybe they give me a uh, hundred dollars off or something like that. But anyway, back to the test. So now we're at minus 108, minus 110, 111, 112. We're just climbing, climbing, climbing. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, we're not gonna just sit here and wait for it to keep rising. But the minus, we were plus with the refrigerator water, which is oxidizing, right? The sink water, plus 208. Um, I tested water in Sacramento and it was actually plus 500. So that's really, really uh, bad water. That water will dry out your skin and you taking showers with it, you washing your mouth out. I mean, this is just not good stuff going into the body. Um, the ORP, um, the lower the reading, which means the minus, um, the more anti-oxidizing it is. So, um, you know, what I mean by lower, I'm talking about the minus. And then here I have written uh, the oxidation reduction potential, the ORP, the measure of cleanliness of the water uh, and its ability to break down contaminants. That's what the ORP is. It has a range of minus 2,000 to plus 2,000. And uh, the units are measured in millivolts. That's why you see the MV here. So right now we're at minus, which is antioxidizing 137. I'm just going to leave it there. 137. Okay. So that's that. So that pretty much gives you the type of water that you're drinking. Focus in on that real quick on just those numbers. Hold on, let's focus this. Hold on one second. There we go. You can see those numbers, the sink, pH 8.38. When I say sink, that's just East Bay mud, which is the local water here. And then you have the ORP, which is plus, which is oxidizing. We're not looking for that. We're looking for anti-oxidizing, which is what you get from vegetables and so on. Uh, so for the refrigerator filter, the alkalinity or the, P, uh, the pH was at 8.19. So you have plus oxidizing. My first test was 221. Second one was 190. All right, Nexus, which is the machine here. The alkalinity is at a level 10.36, which is pretty high. Uh, then your anti-oxidizing was at minus 200 for my first test for the second test it came in at 137 uh, so anyway um, and I know the test isn't just 100% accurate as you can see each of these waters you know I kind of tested them you know with the same uh, tester but anyway uh, you could get these testers here at uh, on Amazon I think they like 100 to 150 bucks but it's a good buy to you know kind of let you know what you're drinking and um, just to test it for yourself but anyway that was that now let's focus on this machine real quick so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn the machine on I have it kind of connected here this water here is uh, acidic water so it basically is splitting the water and let me see if I have my uh, my tester hold on real quick Which I did. But anyway, let's turn the machine on. So the machine here is alkaline level four. And then you have uh, acidic water. And this lets you know that you can clean your dishes with it. And it's safe, you know, to clean your dishes. Water bottles if you want to rinse them out. Uh, and it makes this, this sound when it's when you're on the acidic setting. Then I can go to acidic. This is like Lysol or something, and you can mop your floors, fill up the, uh, you know, fill up the sink with uh, water. You know, to mop your floor at this cleaning level here, uh, because of how high the acidity is. And then here, if you have like sores in your mouth, sore teeth, this is a good way to mouthwash, you know, your uh, your mouth and gets, you know, it helps. It's like like mouthwash pretty much. And then here is a good way to balance your skin on this acidic level too. You can see the lady splashing water on her face. And it actually, like when you take a shower, you need a lot of lotion. I know for us black folks, we need a lot of lotion. We need a lot of oil or what have you on our face. But it, this actually balances the pH in the skin. So let's go over to alkaline water. We're at alkaline level four, alkaline level one. The alkaline level one, when I tested it, it was about 8.5, somewhere around there. And then you go uh, alkaline level two, and that's a little bit higher, maybe nine, somewhere around there. You can go to level three, which is basically they have for coffee, uh, 
you know, stuff like you just kind of eat with it. You boil your vegetables with it and you just kind of, that's try, what you're trying to do is create an alkaline environment within your body. Then you have alkaline level four, which is where I pretty much keep the machine. Um, and that's that. So back over here to, the, to this right here, these are the, the, the uh, results that I got from testing this. pH 8.38 for the sink, pH for the refrigerator filter 8.19, 10.36 for the Nexus, the ORP, which is basically oxidizing, plus 208, which is not good, plus 221 for the refrigerator. Uh, that was the first test, second one was at 190, and the Nexus anti oxidizing. So, obviously, you can see that this is you're getting better water here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you. Check us out at BeUpForLife.com or GodFearMovement.com. One love.